All right, so I am, I'm sitting in the hot tub for the first time and it's dark and I can see all the stars. It's kind of just a gray. It was, it looked blue in the photo, so it was really cool, but um, man, these stars. And then like, the Lord just opened up my eyes to understand that like why am i trying to rush this like i need to like be more thankful and utilize the opportunities he gives me like i don't want to leave here like i just started to get comfortable like i need to get more comfortable with the right people sooner like this is such a wonderful family i live like in rent room and so like they're just super cool people and like I want to get to know them better and I just need to stop being antisocial. And then they let me use their hot tub. Like they're just super cool in general and then they let me use their hot tub and their kids are great and just this view and the Lord and you bless me. And I've been stressed and worrying about finding a husband and finding a man and I think like, I think Lord, I don't know, maybe the, the, I don't know if that's something we still have to kill from or whatever, like, because my mom's always trying to marry me off. Um, so, yeah, because, shoot, people used to live to, like, a hundred back in the day. I feel like 31, 32 is, like, the 20s from, um back in the day because back in their day like they had to grow up so quickly and so I don't know like I'm just understanding life right now <laughs> and it's not even life it's it's the Lord's teachings like I'm finally understanding uh, what he's trying to show me about life and myself and him I mean mainly him like and I'm really understanding him just everything else falls into play and this moment is just so amazing and I'm like why am I rushing not having this for longer like I I need to be more thankful and utilize more of God's blessings for my life and what he gives me and oh man he keeps telling me to be patient <sighs> yeah but like if you think about like right now it's like had I never like really fully surrendered to like his will for my life what is that the star it looks like It looks like a really small little dipper. <laughs> like, really small. Uh, interesting. Anyways, um. <sighs> that's the North Star. It's super bright. That's like people always say it's at the end of the Big Dipper. So. I don't know. There's a Ryan's belt. I have that on my left forearm is a Ryan's belt and freckles. Oh man, what a night though. Like what a blessed thing. Like just to realize in this moment, like, oh my gosh, look at all these stars. And it's peace and quiet. It just dead silence. Oh, they see an airplane. This is amazing. God is so good. I'm so blessed that I don't deserve any of it. Like, these are the things that people, like, post all over Instagram. If I had a super nice camera, actually, no, I would Photoshop it in, like, a super cool cosmic -y, all the colors, enhanced star sky into the sea. Like, I love these, the tree layout I have. hearing noises now. Anyways, um, yeah, 
I don't know, and I took a chance to instead of constantly telling myself like I can't use hot tubs. I think I figured out the like, solutions. Like so like why am I so concerned? And this I just did. I asked her. She said, please. And then I said, okay. Thank you. And oh man. I should not have eaten so much if I came out here. I was stuck in a binge. Oh, so frustrating. It always goes downhill with carbs and sugary crap. And that's the thing I'm working on, not binging, is carbs and sugary crap. So then I don't keep binging from there because my craving is a frickin' I don't even know how to... Uh, I don't know. Extremely enhanced and completely over overwhelmed and consumed. Um, and I'm glad I went to church tonight. Uh, I think it's so much better, but it's not easy to not to say it's I say sacrifice your time but it's not because it's like the time God gives us and so like we're just blessing him or not blessing him we're we're saying thank you to him by doing what he's called us to do which is like good works and you know and sometimes like you can be impactful on someone's life like even just through like greeting or um I mean, not to say, like, reading, like, low on the totem pole or anything, like, not that. Um, I think just the commitment portion of it, with anything, it's, uh, hello, that was, is that, that was super, oh, I was like, what? It was like it was blinking. I didn't see it. It delayed for a second. It was so bright. I need it to flash again. <sighs> Anyways, um, yeah, just really utilizing the Lord's blessings in our life and really just giving Him thanks and, like, doing what He calls us to do and just obeying Him. Oh, and sometimes it's not always easy to just, like, obey Him because sometimes you just have, like, the obey me, like, Bible version stuck in your head and really the only way that the old like confident and like desire to obey him comes from getting to know him and that comes with um I mean a ask him into your heart you know ask him for forgiveness of your sins ask him in and and then um when you develop a little bit deeper of a relationship, you get to the point where you're like, all right, Lord, like there's gotta be more to this life that you created and you put me in it at this exact moment in time. Like I must serve a purpose or there's like something I can better do to serve your purpose and in, in the purpose of creating me. And so you're like, if I'm under his uh, connection, uh, uh, hand, love, grace, mercy, favor, uh, all the, all the blessings, right? Um, the best place to be is in his hands and not relying on, um, like people's and like what they can do for you because, uh, they're limited. I think that's the best explanation. That was my speaker turning off. Um, and because people are so limited, we only assume what we can see or we look at uh, data from past, you know, years and we just assume that this is the layout, this is how it goes. And then you, like, you just... Once you've, okay, so we've received salvation, we've asked him, in, in, or we've surrendered to his will, okay, and so we're talking about, like, his VIP status hookups, and so, like, 
after that, then the obeying, like, because, I mean, he did some stuff for you in the beginning, and you're like, holy crap, like, I still can't believe, like, the way he set that all up is, like, you can look back and be like, oh my goodness, I see you working, I understand why everything happened the way it did, but it's only, like, after some time has passed, and you can look back, like, when you're out of that season. Uh, so, yeah, I think, again, if we stop relying on the the limits uh, confined to people through the world and its BS, um, we can really start seeing moments just like this everywhere because we start to realize what we've got. And so everything is beautiful because you recognize it as like that's like the Lord everywhere and he made this sky and he made this night and he made this tree line and I mean I, you have to be like he was like yeah this is going to be a great spot for a hot tub and a night of just bonding with me and then like 31 years later I'm like whoa thanks lord and he's like got you girl and I'm like yes you do so again that trust it comes from getting to know him, being in his, his word, and not in the biblical sense where they throw it at you and quote the same evil scripture over and over and make you feel like a terrible person. Uh, no, um, I apologize. That's, that's not how Jesus works. Um, so if you've been, like, scarred by that, like, we've all been scarred like that. We just uh, kept seeking. Like, we just felt like, um, you know, some people are just assholes and idiots and we just want to love other people even though we don't know how because we don't love ourselves properly yet and so we to the best of our ability keep you know moving forward and then eventually we get I think uh, a little bit more ready and trained up to progress to the next level in faith but it's not in our own strength it's his but it comes again by starting there's a start process to everything and um there's a matter matter of just doing what you need to do to get started and it's that again the analogy i use of a i feel like it's an analogy right like i feel like somebody wasn't sure about that the other day anyways um so standing at the edge of the pool or water or the beach or off a cliff and you're just looking down at this really cool giant uh beautiful untouched body of water waterfall whatever um thankfully deep enough to jump into kind of thing and if you're similar to me <laughs> you're going to look at it and be like, oh my gosh, that water is going to be so cold. And then you're like, yeah, I don't, I don't like being cold. So I don't know, and it's really high up. And you're just like, yeah, I don't know anymore. <sighs> but then when you get outside of your head and you within reasonable uh, within a reasonable thought process, you consider that, yes, the Lord will, uh, be there with you through this, um, anticipating that, you know, it, that nothing bad happens, so you just obviously have to be aware of your surroundings, I mean, don't be jumping off cliffs into water if, if it's not, like, safe to do so, so that disclaimer is over with, um, so after you actually jump, you hit the water and it's like a split second and you were so in your head because you're like oh my gosh like how far down am I gonna go am I gonna be able to swim back up to the top like am I gonna be able to swim back up to the top and then all of a sudden it's like you hit that water and it's all of a sudden you're like back up and you're like holy shit I survived that Excuse my French, that was unfortunately a natural response, and I, uh, we're working on not swearing. Anyways, so, ah, oh, and it's, and then you're in there, and you just, you can't believe what you just experienced, and, ah, uh, I just, 
God is so good. I don't know how else. I feel like I explained it well, and this video is probably, well, it's not a video, it's a, a recording. I was smart this time. Man, this view. Oh, and this moment of realization and understanding for recognizing the beauty in this moment, like, that's so important. To acknowledge, admire, appreciate, love, enjoy, respect, honor, uh, justify, I don't know, justify, justify, maybe, I don't think it's our, I don't know, uh, the like just him um his existence his uh i mean artwork i don't i mean there's i mean the whole just this moment in general like and the fact that he revealed to you to stop and pay attention for five seconds and then you were like hooked and now you're having the best time of your life because you're not sitting on your cell phone however i do need to stop this video recording anyways oh but I'm telling you, when you start seeking him first, and that means like, so I think how I did it was, oh, I prayed and I journaled and I asked the Lord if I was meant to leave the relationship I was in at the time and I was having a very hard time I think from beginning to end it was it was it was it was tough but it wasn't like bad you know a lot of it was me I wasn't in a good place mentally but also considering, you know, there's two sides to every story, so I'm not, like, the complete bad guy here. Um, but I'm also, like, over it and forgiveness and moving on because, like, I needed to move forward. It wasn't my, uh, I didn't have to deal with it anymore. <laughs> Free! Anyways, um, yeah, so I had prayed and asked, and I was like, I need, like, miraculous signs like straight up I need like physical signs uh, and so I asked him um, and then uh, it, yeah through a series of events that is uh, just a beautiful testament peace season uh, moment of my life and my testimony it's again really awesome when you can look back and uh, really see how the Lord was working in your life even though it was a living hell <laughs> and you were like oh goodness okay so um I, uh, hold on I saw an airplane, I got sidetracked. It was so far away in, in between the trees. I think it's just, I've never seen like the airplane route um, from any other direction. I don't really spend too much time in the backyard. And if I do, it's usually walking uh, from my car inside or looking through my kitchen window during dishes. And it's like the same route and so it's actually pretty cool because I'm like that one's way over there and I don't know if they will eventually turn this way I don't know it's so beautiful right now oh anyways uh what did I oh yeah series of events uh series of confirmed um signs from the Lord and it took me three more years to leave because of you know all the things that I just didn't trust the Lord in taking care of in my life and yeah so anyways had I known this was awaiting me I would have gotten here sooner again okay okay all right woo we made it 20 minutes usually we're about an hour oh goodness all right I'm gonna stop this and I'm gonna post it